Kobanadi got arrested, but I didn't really believe it. You know, I thought it was just like, eh, because it was just one person that said it. So I really was like, eh, it doesn't really matter. So I was going through YouTube the other day, and I seen a fellow YouTuber post a video about it, something about Kobanadi getting arrested, and I was like, huh? That shit for real? So today I went and looked it up, Kobanadi getting, uh, I literally searched, let me see what I said. I said Kobanadi prison, and the first thing that comes up is, in Marcel, rapper Kobanadi sentenced to three months in prison. What the fuck? Why you gonna send my man to prison, man? Shit, I think about to come out of that. I've been three months in prison. <laughs> but anyway, let's go. I wanna see why he actually got arrested. Oh, what's at the door? Let's one second. But yeah, I wanna see why he got arrested. I can see from the picture here that he crashed a blue. That's a Porsche, right? Yeah, he must have crashed a Porsche. But yeah, let's read it. He says he lost control of his Porsche in the city of Marseille. Oh, he owns a Porsche? That's that's pretty tough. That's that's nice. That's a nice car. In the city of Marseille on Friday evening and hit another car head on. So like boom. Ah. Oh. But it uh, oh wait, injuring his driver before running away. So you're telling me he tried to run away? Why though? I don't I don't get it. Why do you why why you why you running? It's not like unless he had drugs or guns in the car or something. I, but how did they find out it was him though? Since before rapper Kobalady had however been filmed and recognized by witnesses and as, as well as the blue Porsche mechanic exhibited by the artist a few hours earlier on Snapchat. Oh damn. <laughs> so let me see, let's see if we can find a video. Apparently he posted uh, a video of the Porsche on Snapchat and he literally tried to run after he hit the lady or the person. Let's see, Kobalade arrest. Of Kobalade. Is that him trying to run away? He stayed. He stayed one. I'm not going to be a black man. He stayed. He stayed. Nah, nah, nah. Okay, on the most serious note, though, I feel like that's bad that he ran. Like that, he hurt somebody. Nigga, you have the, you, you have the money to probably call that person an ambulance and take him to the hospital. I don't know, man. I feel like it's funny the way he ran away, though. But at the same time, I feel like he deserves what he got. Nah, like I thought he was, I, I thought it was something about like drugs or something. I didn't know it was because he, he. Nah, man, that's not gangster in my opinion at all. <laughs> not one bit of this is gangster. And so what's his punishment? Three months in prison with probation, 140 hours of community service and four months of license suspension. And he also has to do a safety road test or safety awareness course. God damn. I feel like that's crazy. I feel like they should even charge him for running away. The fact that he ran away alone, they should add another three months. I'm sorry, but I think so. That's crazy. Why would he run? That's, that's just double my opinion. But damn, what about that? <laughs> that was funny. You see other rappers getting arrested for being maltreated by cops, all that shit. Like when that dude from PNL uh, Ademo got arrested, or when fucking Mohala Squirrel got arrested. Like, you know, those kind of shit where shit worthy of the news. Like, that's, why, that's probably why this shit didn't get too big. Cause, like, nigga, really, you run away? Really, you, you too big to fucking. But hey, man, on the more positive vibes, let's jump straight to the reactions. I'll see you guys there. Make sure you guys couple of when they'll come back to the game. And I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? I love you guys so much. Oh, is it?
think I drink too much, eh? I think I drink too much, eh? I think I drink too much. Will you roll me blunt so I can't cool off? Eh?